Embarrassing moments. They all happen to everyone, but to some more than others. In this video, I'm going to highlight some of the most embarrassing moments that we've seen this season in the NHL thus far. Or at least, I hope there's still a season. Anyways, with that, here are the top 5 most embarrassing moments of the present season in the NHL. In yet another bizarre and off play for Boston's little ball of hate that transpired not long after the terrible attempt by Marchand at a shootout winner for his team. Don't get me wrong though, this isn't me throwing shade at the rat, but rather just stating the obvious. During a regular season game at TD Garden against the Penguins, Marchand, during the middle frame of play, who received the puck in the neutral zone, had a prime chance to do more damage on the scoreboard and give his team a comfortable two-goal lead. Instead, the forward, once he skated into the slot on an obvious breakaway, couldn't even get a shot on goal and ended up forfeiting the chance and eventually losing possession. For Brad, though, after enduring much criticism on social media, didn't let us down when it came to a classic Marshawn comeback. As he tweeted out the next day, Attention! Hands have been lost or stolen. If found, return to TD Garden. Okay, so maybe just maybe, losing 5-0 to a good team isn't so bad. I mean, as bad. But for the Penguins, who had just acquired former Shark Patrick Marlowe, seemingly lost their offensive prowess as soon as they arrived on the West Coast. After a miserable loss to the Kings, Pittsburgh laid an egg in the exact arena that they clinched the Stanley Cup in, back in 2016. To make matters worse, after four power plays and 30 shots on goal, with players such as Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin on the ice, the team couldn't get a single puck past Martin freaking Jones. As in, worst goalie to play 41 or more games, statistically Jones, the .896 save percentage Jones, and that's not even mentioning some of the goals scored here. As much as I love the Penguins, they were basically leaving the ice open for breakaways such as these. Defensive laps after defensive laps. The Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins could have done better. Heck, I'd even throw the nailers on the ice at that point. Anyways, my heart goes out to Patty Marlowe. You deserved better. Speaking of deserved, it was during the first few minutes of the Winter Classic in Dallas that Corey Perry, for once, received the adequate punishment after deciding to elbow Ryan Ellis in the head for no apparent reason. As Ellis struggled to his feet, Perry was about to experience possibly the most embarrassing moment of his life. After the play was reviewed and the ref revealed the verdict, Perry was forced to undergo a walk of shame in front of not only those watching at home, but also 85,000 pairs of eyes witnessing it firsthand. And no, Perry didn't get to ride out in style in a golf cart like Ellis. Instead, this loud rain of boos he heard and memes he likely later saw will be haunting the forward possibly for the rest of his days. I know, I know, it might just seem like a personal attack at this point, but I kinda just did rip my own team a new one, so Boston fans, I hope we're on good terms. Anyways, back to that shootout miss I referred to earlier, the moment with the aftermath that resembled less June's with just as many memes to go with it. The loss the Bruins suffered transpired shortly after it was Marshawn's turn to get one past Kata Hot. Kata Hot, Kata Hot, going once, going twice, sold, Kata Hot. While booze rained down in Wells Fargo Center and Marchand began skating towards center ice, it wasn't long before the puck, after briefly being touched by his stick, seemingly was the one that got away. So I'm sure you knew this one was coming. I mean, everyone is pretty much tired of the e-bug acronym by now. So I'll just keep this one short. Sometimes you gotta eat a poop sandwich, it doesn't taste good. But probably not sweet. Fair warning. Two goalies down, Ebug steps in, who, mind you, worked for the Leafs AHL affiliate and suited up in his hometown of Toronto, only to witness a miracle on the 40th anniversary of the miracle of all miracles that occurred in the States. Leafs, after getting a measly nine shots in on David Ayers, suffered possibly the toughest loss to swallow in their 103 years of existence. After Ayers going from zero to hero and Steve Dangle apparently losing his mind, the Leafs became the laughing stock of the NHL world on social media for quite some time. I can hear you snickering over there. I know you are. Anyways, lesson learned. Don't let your e-bug be your Zamboni driver. It's a bad look. 